hello everybody uh, firstly i would like to uh, introduce myself my name is uh, Fatih Tabuni assistant professor at the university of Benghazi uh, at the moment i am interested in polymeric material and their uh, application in environment and the drug uh, release so to uh, to have a look to uh, at my uh, publications kindly see those uh, left side uh, links or uh, please uh, scan my qr Uh, second of all, I must thank the, uh, the reader who nominated me to, to give this presentation at the International Journal of Science and uh, Research, IGSR. Uh, uh, turbidity. So, my publication is dealing with the how can we uh, eliminate the turbidity of uh, in water system. So, uh, at the beginning, let me explain the concept of uh, turbidity in water, which is uh, caused by suspended matter, uh, such as uh, clay, organic matter, and uh, other microscopic uh, organisms that interfere with the, uh, with the passage of light through the uh, water. Uh, in fact, the turbidity itself is not a major health concern, but Highly turbid uh, water uh, system provide a medium for uh, microbial uh, growth. So uh, to clarify the turbid water, a coagulant has to be added. Uh, in this work, we examine the, uh, as you can see here, the effect of pH uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, ionic strength on the bulk and interfacial properties uh, of uh, starches. In order to, uh, we're aiming to, in fact, to introduce the starch as the powerful natural material can be applied to purify or clarify the turbid water. Next. Uh, as an overview, uh, at the beginning, uh, I'm going to present the introduction uh, in which I'm going to explain the turbidity of aqueous system. Then I will talk about the uh, starch and its application. Finally, the aim of this paper will be uh, introduced in this introduction. After that, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, the material, starch modification, and, uh, and technique used in this work uh, uh, in the experimental part, in fact. After that, the results and the discussion will be uh, presented. Finally, I will finish with the uh, conclusions. So the water uh, turbidity, uh, the total, uh, as I mentioned before, the turbidity of water caused by uh, suspension of uh, materials uh, like, uh, as you can see in this picture, like uh, uh, gravel, sand, cells, clay, uh, and algae. Uh, in this picture, at the left side, as we can see here, uh, the uh, represent highly turbid uh, turbidity of uh, a river. This the high, the extreme turbidity uh, caused by the existence of mud of high concentration of. Uh, uh, clay or suspended material in that uh, river, river sorry. And in, the, in this picture, as we can see, this is the picture of an ocean. So it is very clear compared to the uh, river. Why the ocean uh, water is clear, whereas the water of the river is very, very cloudy. The reason is, uh, behind this is because of the oceans contain a huge amount of salts. These salts can interact with any suspended material exists in the sea water, then interact with it. After interactions, they will settle down and make very uh, clear water systems. So, uh, for, uh, in this, for, uh, for this part, I'm talking about the, uh, the structure of the starch. As you may know, the starch uh, uh, composed of uh, uh, 
uh, glucose uh, unit and the starch configurations consist of uh, two types of uh, chains, the uh, linear amylose and the branched amylopectins. Uh, and depending on the uh, botanical garden uh, or botanical source, sorry, the starch usually contains about uh, 20% amylose and up to 80% amylopectin by weight. Uh, the source The source of uh, starch. Starch is uh, polysaccharide-based material derived from renewable sources. The major sources are uh, the maize, rice, wheat, uh, vegetable, uh, or the root of vegetables, cassava, and uh, potatoes. Starch is abundantly uh, obtainable material, and also low cost, it's very cheap, polyhydroxy, uh, polyhydroxy polymer. And uh, we may take advantage from this functional group, the hydroxyl group, to interact with any suspended uh, uh, material. The, uh, the application uh, of a starch, a starch has many uh, publications mm -hmm. besides the, it is the main, the main source of food. Uh, the starch can be used as a thickening agent uh, in the uh, medicinal industry as a recipient and adhesive material, there are a lot of uh, applications can be, uh, uh, can be uh, seen for the starch. So the, uh, in this work, we uh, build in the continuous uh, our work to introduce the starch as a powerful uh, biomaterial can be applied uh, for uh, water. We try to examine the interaction of starch with, uh, with minerals with the, and, uh, and salts, cation and anion as well, in the bulk solution and also in the uh, absorbed uh, state. The uh, experimental uh, part, firstly the material, uh, we used uh, alumina, sodium chloride, calcium carbonate, sodium bromide, sodium iodide, and calcium chloride and aluminum chloride. All of these salts were, were used without any further uh, verification. Also, we used the starch and uh, anthracene labeled the starch. Here, the native starch uh, we used to, uh, to investigate the interaction between the uh, mineral and salts with the uh, starch by using the turbidity. Uh, meter and the modified starch, which is the intracene label, the starch, we use it to, uh, to make the starch uh, visual uh, by uh, the spectroscopic uh, uh, technique. As we can see here, the labeling uh, is just by uh, adding the uh, anthracenol to the starch backbone by using the coupling agent then we can make uh, anthracene labeled starch. As we can see here, the anthracene rings is photoactive uh, material so that the starch interaction with mineral, it will be easily uh, investigated by the uh, spectroscopic or uh, UV uh, spectroscopic techniques. The uh, turbidity uh, measurement, as we can see here from this uh, uh, picture or this scheme, the starch solution were prepared by uh, dispersing a specific amount uh, from starch is about uh, in about 1,000 ml of distilled water. The pH of uh, the solution or, uh, remain uh, uh, constant at about 8, which is the natural pH, and the exact amount of salt, every salt was added to uh, every uh, solution, then the transmittance of solution was uh, measured by conventional turbidity meter, as we can see from this uh, picture. And the UV spectroscopy uh, measurement was uh, done for the labeled starch by using the uh, perkin elmer spectro uh, for photometer, and we run the, uh, uh, we run the uh, the spectra uh, to uh, investigate the interaction 
that may occur between the starch and mineral, which is this uh, interaction will be followed by a change in the these spectra. Uh, so as we can see from from these pictures, the presence of and from the left side, or let me begin, the uh, presence of suspended material cause in uh, salt ion interactions uh, binding. This led to an increase in the in their weight, as we can see here. Then, uh, uh, because uh, then we will, it will cause in the aggregation of the suspended material with the salt. This aggregation will lead uh, them to. Uh, uh, settle down and make the ocean clear, as mentioned uh, before. Uh, results on discussions. Uh, this figure, uh, number three, shows the relation between the salt concentration in mole per uh, liter and the turbidity in NTU uh, unit. Uh, as we uh, can see here in the uh, in figure number three, the valency of cations was fixed by selection uh, sodium uh, chloride uh, and uh, sodium bromide and uh, sodium uh, iodide. As it can be noted at the beginning, uh, a rise in the turbidity of a star solution was recorded in order the iodide was more than bromide, then the uh, bromide was bigger uh, and turbidity than the chloride uh, anion. This could be uh, attributed to uh, that the halogen atoms radius becoming bigger, the, the biggest one, the uh, iodide, then uh, in, in that uh, direction. By adding more halide uh, salts, the turbidity value were dramatically uh, declined. This could be attributed to the presence of direct interactions between the halide ions and the hydrogen and the hydroxyl group of uh, starch. Figure number uh, three uh, shows the relation between the alumina content and the turbidity uh, as a function in pH, uh, as we can uh, note uh, here. So. When the starch uh, alumina interface was studied in this figure, an increase in turbidity uh, was uh, uh, noted upon adding more uh, alumina. So there is direct relation between the turbidity and adding more uh, alumina. Whereas in increasing the uh, pH led to decrease in the turbidity uh, values. This uh, uh, obtained results uh, proposes that electrostatic interaction uh, were mainly responsible for uh, the absorption of starch on uh, mineral uh, surface. So adding more, uh, more as I mentioned, adding more uh, alumina will uh, cause an increase in turbidity, whereas lowering the uh, uh, the pH also uh, increase the uh, turbidity uh, uh, value. Uh, figure number five shows the, uh, the relation between the uh, absorbance, this is for the anthracene labeled starch, and the uh, pH uh, value. So as we can see, this figure shows the maximum absorbance of anthracene labeled starch mixed with uh, alumina solutions at different pH values and increase in the absorbance as the pH uh, 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 decreases. So the absorbance decrease here by increasing the pH up to 6. So this indicates uh, that more starch chains remain in the bulk solutions. But at uh, pH equal to 9 and 11, the decrease in the absorbance can be uh, explained as more anthracene label uh, starch was attached into the mineral surface and little was remaining in the bulk solution. This tendency uh, tendency agrees with the turbidity uh, results. Uh, figure number six uh, shows the uh, effect here uh, of the uh, calcite content and weight percent 
uh, on the turbidity uh, values at uh, different pH as well. So uh, despite this figure shows uh, fluctuated pH dependence on the starch absor uh, absorption into calcite, calcium carbonate. So adding more calcium uh, uh, carbonate similarly led to an increase in the uh, turbidity. But as an overall decreasing the pH caused in uh, decrease in the turbidity, which could be because of increasing the amount of absorbed uh, uh, starch. So for the conclusion, uh, when the uh, starch mixes with various salt equal solutions, the turbidity and uh, UV spectroscopy results suggest some interaction uh, may occur between the starch chains and the small molecule uh, like uh, sodium salts or alumina and uh, calcites. Uh, existence of a starch in salt equal solution uh, causes decrease in the durability of uh, calcium and sodium uh, water system. However, cloudy solution is appeared in the presence of alumina. This could be attributed to the strength of binding affinity for starch hydroxy, uh, hydroxyl groups to mono and di cations rather than uh, tri cations. Uh, at the uh, fixed cations, uh, an increase in the durability of starch solution was noted in this uh, order. The iodide was more than uh, bromide and the bromide was more than the chloride. Uh, and adding more uh, sodium halide salts was uh, accompanied with uh, a decline in the turbidity. This was due to the direct interaction happened between the halide ions and the hydrogen uh, in hydroxyl group of starches. At the absorbed uh, starch into uh, alumina, increasing the pH caused uh, a decrease in the turbidity and uh, absorbance uh, value, which indicated that more starch was uh, attached to, into the mineral surface and uh, tannin was remained in the bulk solution. In the contrary, uh, decreasing the, the pH caused in, uh, an increase in turbidity when the starch was uh, blended with calcium uh, carbonate. Uh, and thank you for uh, your attention and uh, if you have any uh, question, please just email me uh, in this uh, email. Thank you.